Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about Azure Disk Encryption um, for different machines. So when you don't have a disk encryption is enabled, you would be getting uh, this disk encryption error within your security center. And you can verify that uh, alert and based on that, you can take an action. Disk encryption helps and protects and safeguards your data to meet your organization's security and compliance uh, commitments and it uses the BitLocker feature of Windows to provide volume encryption of the operating system and disks for the virtual machines and it is fully integrated with Azure Key Vault to help you uh, control and manage disk encryption keys and secrets. If you are already using the Azure Security Center you are getting an alert as I have uh, told just now um, within your Security Center console. And coming back to the supported uh, operating systems, yes, uh, there are a range of different uh, size of VMs you have. So it's not that um, it's going to support maximum all the machines or all the size of range or size of the VMs except basic and A series VMs. And also on the virtual machines that has 2 GB of memory A or lesser than that so as your disk encryption also available for the vms with the premium storage and as your disk encryption is not available on generation 2 vms and lsv2 series vms for operating systems uh, like windows 10 or later only supported and 2008 r2 or later only supported definitely on a server operating system you need to have the 4.5.net framework then only this is uh, supported um, for the disk encryption method and uh, it's actually gonna uh, use the BitLocker technology as I told. We can also enable encryption on Linux machines, but we cannot enable on a Linux virtual machines uh, that are scale sets, that have a scale set. So if you're running on a scale set which uh, with the operating system as Linux virtual machine, and then uh, you can't enable also as your Kubernetes agent, uh, if you are running with anything uh, to do with the AKS pool, then it's not going to work the encryption method. And for the Linux virtual machines, you can use the disk encryption for Linux VMs. Uh, basically, uses the DM uh, crypt feature of uh, Linux to provide full disk encryption of the operating system disk and other disks. Additionally, it also provides encryption of the temporary disk uh, when using the encrypt uh, format all feature so that you can use the temporary disk also. The content uh, flows encrypted from the VM to the storage um, in the back end. And as we talked about the Windows VMs, it would be definitely the BitLocker, uh, the back end mechanism uh, which uses for the disk encryption. As part of the demo, we will be creating a completely new resource group and also a new VM within that resource group. And uh, we also create a key vault uh, for the encryption and then we encrypt the virtual machine disk. And uh, that should conclude how to uh, encrypt your virtual machines. So all these steps we will be performing from Azure Cloud Shell. So in this case, I have already opened the CLI. Let me show you how to open this uh, CLI for you. So just click on that. And once you uh, open the CLI, you can use the commands to create your own resource group. But in my case, I have actually, uh, with my ID, I have more than one subscription. So I have to uh, filter. Uh, so I'll just filter that is the account list. Uh, with uh, setting the subscription to I'm gonna use one subscription called new in this case that's where I'm gonna build uh, I'll set that so that uh, every command that I'm gonna execute will be limited to uh, that specific subscription so that means whatever the resources I'm gonna create that will be going inside my subscription name called new so let's uh, try to create now a resource group that's the first one uh, we need to create a resource group uh, just for this demo so I'll use the default resource group name called my resource group I'll simply paste that uh, query like az group create name um, with the as my resource group and location to be easier so that has been created now I'm gonna create a uh, with the azvm create command um, I'll be using to create my virtual machine 
uh, with my resource group existing resource group that we have just created and I'm going to use the Windows Server data center and normal user ID and the password in fact we have also demonstrated how to retrieve the password from the Azure key vault in the one of the demo you can check out that uh, but in this case just the uh, plain user ID and password I'm showing here so this might take a minute or so since uh, it's ha it has to be provisioned uh, a lot of other resources uh, within this Azure cloud so if you just go back to our my resource group uh, and you can see here these are the resources has been already created for now and it might not take a minute or so it just got created and I should be actually uh, looking at a key called um, I should be able to create uh, basically key vault let's let's first create the key vault and then um, then we would be jumping back to create further keys so I'll just paste the key called AC key vault create name called my KV and if the my KV name is a unique because maybe you know somebody has already taken yeah somebody has already taken my KV so now I need to you know, give a, a, a unique name of my key vault service name because that works on a based on a, a URL based so that is a unique ID so I'll just give a random name here like my KV maybe 2211 or something a random name so that that nobody will have that like 2211 in demo maybe so that nobody uses that and hit enter that would actually create a key vault service uh, within my resource group called um, my resource group called uh, my resource group <laughs> so uh, once it is created I would uh, go back to so it has just created and now the key vault now I should be able to see here all that information whatever the URI all that but that's fine so let me show you from the portal whether we have a key vault or not in fact we can also create from the portal but I have used uh, directly CLI command so you see here there's no key there's no secret now I'm gonna actually copy a command uh, where it's gonna encrypt my VM with the disk encryption key vault my key vault name whatever the KV2211 demo is my key vault name so what happens is it actually gonna encrypt um, with a key creation as a secret within my key vault so this might take a minute or so and then if I go back uh, to the my key vault I should be able to see a secret key got created automatically and if I just go back to uh, oh, in fact I can show you here now the with the AZVM show command if you see here um, there should be something called encryption option uh, equal length that's the colon enable option should be there so I'll just have a look on here encryption operation you see here uh, encryption algorithm encryption option I'm sorry it takes some time but yeah encryption operation equivalent enable encryption so what happens is in the back end it actually uh, adds a VM extension so that's what it, it does in the back end but anyway we'll just go back to uh, the extension if you see here the extensions uh, this is where the as your disk encryption as the as the new extension has been provisioned successfully that's what we have done with all these PowerShell commands now if I just go back to my key vault and I'll use my key vault name and if I just go to secrets I have a secret name which has been already created automatically with the help of Azure CLI and that's my uh, secret identifier and uh, that's uh, that's my secret value which is automatically generated for us so this is how it's gonna work so you can use these commands to encrypt any of the VM and I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this